As heavy machinery clears the rubble of a garment factory in Bangladesh's capital, stories of heroism are emerging. Neighbors rush to the site in Dhaka, digging through debris with hammers, hacksaws, and even their bare hands trying to save workers. Muhammad Mubarak is a teacher at a nearby school. I asked a trapped worker that if I cut off his hand, would he manage to live, he says. He cried and asked me to save his life anyhow. At least 386 people were killed when the illegally constructed eight-story Rana Plaza collapsed on April 24th. Legal reaction to the collapse has been swift. A top Bangladeshi court on Tuesday ordered the government to immediately confiscate the property of the building's owner. A two-judge panel also asked the central bank to freeze the assets of the owners of the five garment factories in the building and to use the money to pay salaries and other benefits to their workers. The order came after police brought the building's owner, Mohammed Sahel Rana, and the factory owners to court. Meanwhile, the relatives of people still unaccounted for confront the growing possibility that they'll never see their loved ones again. No wag on the Associated Press.